Hello, my name is Martin Clist and I'm the Managing Director of Charles Ede. The gallery was established in 1971 by Charles Ede and we're about to celebrate our 50th anniversary. The area of the art world that we deal in contains some of the earliest objects that you'll see, perhaps from the Paleolithic era, and we go right up to the 6th or 7th century AD, which is quite modern for us. The cultures we deal with are from Egypt, Rome, ancient Greece, including Magna Graecia, which is an era of southern Italy, as well as other cultures such as Celtic from northern Europe, and from the Near East, cultures such as Luristan, Sasanian, and Assyrian. Most people, when they look at ancient art, think of museums, but I'm an advocate for demuseumifying the art that we deal in. It's a wonderful privilege to be able to live with something that is so old, and it gives us a great insight, not only into how the ancient world worked and existed, but how we live today and how we communicate with our past and what makes us human. My name's Karis Tyndall. I'm a director here at Charles Ede. So here we have an Egyptian cat um, made of bronze. It dates to the 26th dynasty, so it's around 600 BC. It's hollow cast intact as you can see and it even has um, one of its original earrings still in situ. The cat is an animal sacred to the goddess Bastet and an object like this would have been given to her in one of her temple precincts as an offering to try and help get her protection. The cat was praised for three main characteristics by the Egyptians. Um, their fecundity, because of all the kittens they would have, her ferociousness in protecting her young, and also her abilities to hunt, or hunt down prey and smite one's enemies. Um, so it made her very appealing for the Egyptians. Now, when we got this in, it was mounted on a rather ugly old bright yellow base. And so we decided to, to get it remounted. And in doing so, when we took it off this base, we found inside two rather interesting objects further, which helped to show both its authenticity and its provenance. One of them was this old newspaper cutting, which I have here, which dates to 1865, and it was all scrunched up and shoved in the bottom. And when we pulled that out, we found what are the mummified remains of a little kitten or cat, um, which they would have sacrificed to the goddess, put inside this beautiful statue made of, of bronze, put a little bottom on it, and then buried it inside the temple precinct. But now you can see it, other than it's, it's got its sort of hollow bottom that would have been sealed a long time ago and, and has since been, been removed, probably around the time it was rediscovered. But other than that, this piece is completely intact with a beautiful patina and a really, really gorgeous example. <laughs>